G'day my friends, Marty and Karen here from Marty's Garden and today we've got an exciting video for you. I'm going to show you an avocado tree that I've been growing right through the summer in a container and Karen actually has been up to some her usual sort of stuff with the insects and everything. What have you got Karen? i got a praying mantis to show you. Yeah and you caught it last night didn't you on the window? Yes I did. And you've been feeding it and got it in a container. So that'll be just a quick little snippet of that. Some stuff on the avocado tree. We're going to get into it. Let's go, shall we? Yeah. Marty's Garden teaches you how to grow fresh food in urban places and small spaces. So what's up with the weather, guys? It's snowing overseas. You guys are having a hard time growing your crops, getting them up early. We're having a hard time here because we want to grow our lettuce crops and things like that and it's been too humid and too hot. Getting cool nights but look, 29 degrees, it's going to be probably 27, 29 again today on the mid north coast here in Australia. Up north, Pepe at 560 Farms has told me his uh, lettuce plants are all going, bolting the seed and you know, that's money for him up there. It's a bit sad to see but you know, Life just keeps changing, the garden keeps changing, and everything just keeps evolving. But one thing that is doing well are my avocado trees and things like that because they love the heat. So I've got my avocado tree here. It's about four foot high because it's in a pot, and I'm only 5'3 or something like that. I'm only a little bloke. So, you know, uh, it's growing quite well. It's actually grown about a foot and a half since I bought it, and it's it's really thumping along and I'm going to end up with quite a lot of food on it soon and I'm just loving having it here and look avocados we're paying three dollars for a large avocado and that's just too, too expensive and this guy's going to pump out a lot of avocados it's a semi dwarf tree and I've got growing some just some little things down the bottom here you can see it's a Wurtz semi dwarf if you can read that label there lovely tree and I've got it growing down here in a larger pot which I repotted it in and if you look at the size of my hand you can see the size of the pot there two hands deep two to two and a half hands wide and it's a beauty now avocados have a surface root system that feeds the tree mostly when they're smaller, they get a large taproot and they feed from that way as well. But as the tree grows bigger, they feed mostly from the surface, being a rainforest tree. So over time, this will come out into a wider pot and be a surface feeder. And I'll keep this trunk going nice and straight because I want to keep that apex type of tree going so it gets as much light on it and photosynthesizes as much as it can as possible. So there we have it, the avocado tree is still loving this autumn weather. It means it's going to fruit up really heavily uh, coming up in the next few months into autumn and early spring because it's heavily photosynthesized and I'm going to start fertilizing it with a lot of liquid seaweed and some uh, fish emulsion and things like that to bring the flower onset on and get a lot more fruit onto this tree. Check this little tree out my friends, this is an avocado tree that I actually germinated from seed. And you can see it's about one and a half feet high now. It's got a nice new red flush coming out of it. I've got it in a nice big pot here. Got some little red amaranth coming up down the bottom which I'll just harvest soon and eat them as little sprouts or microgreens. And yeah, it's a really happy little tree. Now it gets sun nearly all day here in this spot. So it just loves it and I'm really looking forward to growing this tree on now. They can take up about seven years for them to fruit, but look, with such a beautiful tree like this, does it really matter? It's just such an attractive tree with these glossy leaves, the nice red flush, and eventually one day, if it gets fruit, or I'll put it in my sister's yard or something like that, and just watch it grow over time. And one day we might get some fruit off it, which would just be absolutely sensational. Now, I plan to be doing more when the next avocado season comes out and just see how many little trees we can get going. Morning, Bobby. Bobby's freaking out because he wants to hang out with Karen. He's kind of spending too much time with that praying mantis today, ain't he, Bob? So, what do you got here, Karen? My praying mantis. And you caught it last night, right? Yeah. Where is it exactly? Ah, oh, 
there it is. And you made a little home for it. You got some water in there. Yeah. And last night you um, gave it a bit of food. Come in a bit closer. So you're next to the praying mantis. And tell us what happened last night. So um, I found a bit of set the window. Yep. And I caught it. And I bring it inside. Then I went to go feed it with a moth and he ate it. It made a click sound going. When he caught it? Yeah. Let's have another look at him. And you're saying he's much more relaxed in there today? Yeah. He's got orange legs on the back of his legs are orange. And um, so you'll be able to keep him in there for a little while and then you'll have to let him go, eh? Okay. Unless you can make a really good safe habitat for him. What's coming up in the Marty's Garden Show? Well Karen, I just started a new dig garden against the fence and the problem is the soil's a bit sandy but I want to show you my solution and also the plants that I'm starting to grow there. Yep, and let's not forget an update on Karen's praying pet mantis. Is it still alive? <laughs>